there's not too many more vibrant democracies in the world than India. Uh, and uh, we applaud the Indian people for, uh, uh, for exercising you know, their ability to vote and to have a voice in their, in their future government. And uh, we wish them well uh, throughout the process, of course. You saw it in a state visit. I mean, we launched all kinds of new initiatives, working on uh, critical emerging technologies together and uh, bolstering and ex expanding the relevance of the Indo-Pacific Quad, of course, which India is a, a part of. Um, and then just the people-to-people -people exchanges uh, and the military uh, uh, military cooperation uh, that uh, that we share with India. So First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.